Fukushima. Area restricted. What is it like after the disaster that took place only a few years ago? I decided to see it with my own eyes. The aftermath is hardly ever discussed, and the events of March 2011 are becoming history. Is the situation in the prefecture under control and back to normal? More precisely, to a town near Power Plant 1. Tomioka was seriously affected by the earthquake, tsunami and the power plant disaster. In many places, life returns to normal. Stores, gas stations and restaurants have reopened. And there's a school with only 18 children for now, but the situation may soon change. Authorities are making every effort to enable residents to return. New residents are to arrive as well, lured by attractive job offers. Granted that they will not fear living near the power plant. But many places still remind us of what happened in 2011. At first glance, the situation looks normal now. But a look at the numbers shows that normalcy hasn't come back yet. Tomioka was partially reopened a few months ago. It now has five times fewer residents than before 2011, mainly visiting workers dealing with the aftermath of the disaster. Not all locations within the area affected by the disaster are open. Many places still require passes, reluctantly issued by local authorities. If you think that you can just come here and see everything, you are wrong. Visits to any red zone, even with authorization, are constantly supervised. Entries and exits are registered and all access roads are closely guarded. Some 15% of Tomioka is in the red zone. There are five red zones. Residing here is forbidden, and entry requires a special pass. 500 workers handle the decontamination. This will continue for another year, and normal life will resume in 2023. 12 years after the disaster. 